Andrew Wiggins hadn't played since February 13th. He gave the Warriors good minutes tonight. Productive off the bench. 28 minutes, 17 points. Here he is. Good players early. Um, second half, didn't really make as, as much shots, but, you know, still competed. Steve said maybe you got a little more tired in the second half. Do you? Did you feel that? Um, maybe it looked that way, but I felt good, though. <laughs> This is the first time in your entire career that you came off the bench. How did that feel? Did that change the way you either approached the game, prepared for the game? Um, I approached it the same way. Um, didn't really switch nothing up because, you know, I haven't, you know, came off the bench before. But um, I do whatever the team needs me to do. You know, when I go out there, I step on the floor, I compete. All your teammates and Kerr said they'll take you taking those shots every time that you're going to make them. Did they feel good coming out of your hand? That was last one felt amazing. Yeah. It did. Didn't go in, though, but it's only up from here. You know, I know I'll make my shots. What does it take to be off since the All-Star break and all of a sudden the ball finds you and put those shots up? I mean, a lot of people <laughs> would turn those shots down. Yeah, I mean, I'm here to compete, you know, and I'm, I believe in myself and, and what I can do. Um, you know, I missed that shot tonight, but... I know the next one's going in. Andrew, how much it looked like your instincts, I mean, cutting without the ball, you know, it seemed like that came back immediately. How, how do you feel about that aspect of the game? And, and I have one follow-up question after that. Um, I feel like that that went well today, you know, just cutting, moving without the ball. You know, I feel like that's where is basketball. You know, you never stop moving, cutting, and playing for one another. And, and Steve looked like he kind of intercepted you after the game and said something to you. What was sort of the gist of his message? Oh, just welcome back. <laughs> that was it. He's just happy to have me back. How did the jumper feel You know, during your absence? I know you got up shots. Just how did it feel through that process and, and leading into the game? I mean, it felt good. And even during the game, a lot, a lot of the shots I missed felt good. Um, that's why I'm not too worried about it. You know, just got to take my time. I feel like I rushed a few that didn't need to be rushed. Um, but, you know, every game's an adjustment. Raymond said you played even better in the scrimmages uh, leading up to this, and you missed, you made every shot. I mean, is that, did you know you were going to be playing this well? I mean, was, how important were those scrimmages to you, and how well did you play in those scrimmages? Um, the scrimmages were important. Um, just, you know, getting back in rhythm, you know, just playing the way that <clears throat> I want to play, playing like myself, and just, you know, especially for conditioning, you know, just that level of play. Uh, what was your second question? Uh, I know. I, like I played. I played pretty good. You know, I was making my shots. I was tacking the rim, making plays for others. Um, I just felt like, you know, myself being back on the court. Yeah, Andrew, it was nine points for De'Aaron in that first half, and then 29 in the second half. What stood out to you as as the difference that allowed him to get rolling there? Um, I mean, he's a, he's a hell of a player. You know, you see the ball going a couple times. You know, it gives you confidence, gets your gets your energy up. You know, and. He got going that second half, and you know, once a player gets going, it's kind of you know tough to stop him. Um, but you know, every game is adjustment. Every playoff game is different than the other, um, so we just got to adjust. Why is the left corner so much your spot? And given if the shot felt so good off your hand, and knowing their history <coughs> in that spot, how surprised were you when it didn't go in? Um, I was disappointed when it, when it didn't go in for sure. You know, just it was a it was a big shot, and you know the game's on the line. Um, but that won't stop me from shooting the same shot next game. Why, why is that spot so comfortable for you? Uh, I don't even know. You know, I get a lot of shots up. You know, I I practice shoot a lot of corner shots. Um, <clears throat> so over the years, it's gotten better and better. Andrew, talk about the atmosphere of the crowd. If it had any effect on you personally or your or your teams. Um, I love it. You know, I love it when, you know, the fans are loud and they're they're into the game. Um, I feel like that's playoff basketball. You know, that's what you want to play in. Four blocks. Uh, is that just energy? I mean, what, what was that about? You know, you, and that's a career high, I think. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just energy and just trying to stay involved. You know, trying to do everything I can to, you know, create extra, you know, possessions for us or anything, you know, I take pride in defense. I know you came back when it felt, you know, it was safe, when was the time to come back, but also, did you come back to feel this? It was this part of, like, you wanted to be able to be in the middle of something like this? Um, 
To be honest, is I just came back because I felt like my the situation had gotten better, um, and I feel like it worked out perfectly. You know, because I I don't want to miss this moment. You know, so I'm happy I'm back. Great, thank you. Appreciate that. Jeff is on the way.